So now let's see this radar in action. Here we are flying towards our steer point number four. Let's go to the 3D view so I can show you better. That is your DED showing you target and steer point number four. And if you go down here, you can see it there. You're pretty close to it. So now let's engage our ground radar by placing backspace and let's try to lock on that bridge that is in front of us. So right now I have the radar on normal. There's nothing really you can see. So if you go up and hit your normal button, you go to expand it a little bit. Now you can see the bridge a little bit better. I'm going to move my cursor to the left so you can see it better. And those dots right here, those are the bridge. Let's expand it to DVS2 to get a better lock on the target. Now you can see the bridge a little bit closer but it's still dots. So I'm going to move the cursor up and wait for the radar to amplify and there it is this is one end of the bridge and this is the other end and that dot will represent the metal so we have to hit the ramp that's what they want us to do on this mission so I'm going to place my cursor right in the ramp and I'm going to lock it by hitting zero and as soon as I lock it, you'll see that there's a diamond in the middle and the cursor is not movable anymore. That means you're locked on. I'm trying to move the arrows and they're not moving. And I'm going to look up and I'm going to show you some of these uh, displays on your hood and what do they mean. This one right here on the bottom, you can see the mode, the stern attack mode you're using right now, which is CCRP. If you look to your right, you see your the first line is the range to your target, this 3.8 nautical miles. The second one is, is the seconds that you have to drop the bomb. The third line is the degrees that you need to turn left or right to hit the target. Right now I'm right in front of it, so I don't need to turn any degrees anywhere. And it displays this in a tenth of a mile. And the other one is the display of the distance from you to the target. And it's also displayed on a tenth of a mile. Right here you can see this 23 number is the inclination of your nose in degrees so your nose right now is pointing up 23 degrees I have it pointed up so you can see the HUD better and that's it now we're gonna go to your right MFE and see what kind of weapons are we gonna use we'll talk about weapons in a different tutorial right now you just need to know that you're gonna use uh, M84 and you have two of them and let me show you outside how do they look and that will be the big one right there and you also carry in uh, six uh, M82's and let's dive our nose down towards the target You need to have your airplane completely set to fly right in between the big box or TV box, designated target box. That way the weapon will hit right in the middle of your target. Right there you can see your target designated box, the big box. 
next to the small one which is your steer point. Now you can see here on the left uh, staple, inverter staple and that is your pull up anticipation cue. This is active when the bomb may not arm before you hit the target. You will be fine if you keep below the flat path marker. And also a low word appears next to the fly path marker when you are at your minimum altitude for safe dive recovery. If you look up you'll see a short horizontal line. And this is called the solution key which is right there. This one will tell you when the bump is going to be released. When this solution cue meets the flat path marker, the bomb will be released. Start diving to it. There's the bridge and the cue. So turn a little bit to your right and level. Try to keep it as center as possible in your target. So we're pretty center right now. And level up. Hold your pickle button. As soon as the line meets the flat path marker right there. Bombs away. Bombs away. So let's see if it's gonna hit the target. There it goes. Positive impact. Now we're gonna use the same weapon at the same target, but we're gonna loft the bomb at the target. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna accelerate with full afterburner and pull up five to four to five G's, and then when the bomb is released, make a right turn is the G's and turn away from the target. This is very useful when you are attacking a target that is heavily armed. Let's uh, freeze this. Do the same, everything is locked. We have the target designated boxes. Now that's the flash clue. Increase full afterburner. Try to steer a little bit to the target and hold the pickle button and start pulling up. Take off the bomb. Goes the bomb. I'm going to stop it. Ease your aster burner, start turning to the right and pull away from the target. Now that you're here, so this is where you are, and does uh, the bridge over there, and yeah, it looks like you hit it right. 